If you've ever seen a pile of old tires covered in dust under the scorching sun, you might think, this is just trash. But with a shovel, a sledgehammer, and a bit of sweat, that pile of trash can be turned into a dream house, cool in summer, warm in winter, and no need for air conditioning. Sounds unbelievable? Then you'll be amazed at how people build houses using old tires without crushing them or using any chemicals. Let's explore with Iron Hand Tech. Earthship is the name of a unique housing model born in the 1970s in the United States by architect Michael Reynolds. These are not your typical houses. They're designed to make maximum use of waste materials like plastic bottles, aluminum cans, and most notably, used car tires. In an Earthship, the walls are not made of bricks or concrete, but of thousands of used tires, packed tightly with earth. Once filled, these tires become super durable building blocks with excellent insulation, thermal mass, earthquake resistance, and soundproofing. The amazing part is, to build a wall like this, there's no burning, no crushing, and no chemical treatment involved. Just soil, tires, sweat, and persistence. To build a house from tires, of course you need tires, which can be collected from garages or scrap tire yards. Worn out tires that are no longer roadworthy are still perfectly suitable for construction. The more uniform the tires are in size, the easier and more aesthetically pleasing the structure will be. And the older the tire, the more cost saving it is. As long as it isn't torn, it's good to go. And just like that, something once discarded becomes building material the moment it's loaded onto a truck. It's ready for a new journey with a new name, Earthship Building Material. The ground for the house has been prepared. When clearing the land for the foundation, the soil is not discarded. It's collected to become part of the building material for the house itself. Amazing, isn't it? No need to buy cement or sand. You don't need an engineer, a cement mixer, or complicated machinery. Instead, all you need is a shovel to scoop soil, a sledgehammer to pound soil into the tires, a small wooden board, cardboard, or old sack to line the bottom, and a pair of thick gloves to protect your hands from getting tired. For the first rows of tires placed on the ground, no liner is needed. Builders place the tire directly on the ground and fill it with soil. Then, using the sledgehammer, they pound around the tire in a circular motion to compact the earth inside. To keep the rows straight, the builder uses a stretch line and stakes at both ends for manual alignment. If the wall design follows a curve or arc, the structure becomes even more stable due to evenly distributed force. That's why many Earthships use semicircular or elliptical wall designs. From the second row upwards, liners are used. Empty tires are placed atop the fully packed ones below in a staggered formation to increase stability, prevent vibration, avoid cracks, and improve aesthetics. Liners are inserted to prevent soil from falling through during the initial filling. After pounding, the soil will hold firmly inside the tire. No cement, no glue, no frame needed. Just even, tight, and strong tamping. Each tire takes 10 to 15 minutes to pack, but will last for decades. A filled tire weighs about 100 to 150 kilograms. Too heavy to move, and thankfully, it doesn't need to be moved. That's why the correct process is, place the tire first, then pack it in place. Don't try to lift a tire brick once it's filled. You'll regret it. And so the process repeats until the wall reaches the desired height. It can go up to three meters and still be safe. And incredibly, tire walls like these even provide a certain level of earthquake resistance. Once the wall is built high enough, there will be triangle-shaped gaps between the tires that need to be filled. Leaving them open makes the wall unstable, as weight from above doesn't distribute evenly, potentially leading to collapse during vibrations. These gaps can be filled with clay or the same soil used for the tires, but it mustn't be too loose. Small stones can also be added to increase bonding 
and evenly distribute force. For a more aesthetic and smooth wall surface, homeowners can stuff small stones inside and use a mix of earth plus sand plus cement or earth plus lime plus straw to fill and plaster the exterior. After plastering, a final coating is typically added. This helps waterproof the wall, protect it from rain, and improve appearance. Some people leave the tire contours visible, giving the wall a raw, rugged, and unique look. Others smooth the wall, paint it, or decorate with mosaic tiles or broken glass, turning tire walls into works of art. The beauty is, you can customize it endlessly, as long as the outer layer is sealed and adheres well. This is not just the final step in building a tire wall, it's also the first step in shaping the emotional soul of the house. A wall that breathes with the earth, with renewal, and with our own spirit. For openings like windows and doors, simply install wooden or steel frames before continuing the wall. It's not much different from traditional building, except the material is thicker, stronger, and much more insulating. That's right, because your wall is over half a meter thick. And of course, every house needs a roof. On the roof, heat-resistant metal sheets are installed at a slope to collect rainwater. A tank at the back filters the water using gravel, sand activated carbon. Homeowners can also install a one to two kilowatt solar power system, enough to power lights, fans, and water pumps. Inside, skylights and cross ventilation systems keep air circulating. Without air conditioning, the house still stays cool, something even modern concrete homes can't always achieve. This is what makes tire homes more than just shelter. They become a space to live in harmony with nature. It might seem like building tire walls is so easy that construction engineers could lose their jobs. Just kidding. But truly, this building method is so accessible that anyone can do it. That's why tire house models have become attractive in areas with limited construction resources, remote regions, and even in DIY community projects. Everyone can join in. Building a tire house offers many clear benefits. Financially, the cost is incredibly low with almost free main materials. Technically, no need for complex machinery. Environmentally, you're reusing one of the planet's hardest to decompose materials. In terms of living experience, thick walls, cool air, no need for air conditioning. It's not just a housing solution. It's a green, self-reliant, creative, and deeply human lifestyle statement. If you think this model is worth trying, don't hesitate to share this video. Iron Hand Tech will return soon with more eco-friendly and planet-saving videos. If there's a recycled material you'd like us to feature, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.